Hey, what up mga ka-axi? Welcome back to Dio Games Lab. This is Rain. And welcome sa bago na naman nating update about Axie Infinity. So, pinamagatan nga ito na Axie Infinity Origin is coming. Ayan. So, malapit na malapit na talagang mag-launch yung Origin and the the the, the future uh, burning mechanics. And sa loob ng uh, game natin, ano, ng Axie Infinity. Hey guys, before we proceed, I just wanted to thank all of you guys for subscribing. Now, we reach uh, 900 plus um, subscribers and at the same time na reach na, na rin natin yung 4,000 watch hours so ilang uh, subscribers na lang siguro I think mga 20 subscribers na lang we're gonna get monetized na and this is not gonna this is not possible without your help guys okay so I just wanted to thank all of you guys and sa mga hindi pa nakasubscribe at mga bago at bago dito sa channel uh, kung nagustuhan nyo yung uh, mga update na binibigay at yung mga explanation na binibigay natin sa inyo ay uh, kung maaari, mangyari, magiging malaking tulong para sa amin yung pag-subscribe nyo sa channel para maging updated kayo every time mag-launch ng announcement itong si uh, Axie Infinity or si Sky Mavis. Ayan, so maraming maraming salamat din guys sa lahat ng mga nagsashare ng videos natin and shoutout sa mga lodi natin yan Ayan. So, proceed na tayo dito sa Axie Infinity Origin. So, Origin is coming. Ito nga sabi nila, no? Axie Infinity Origin or Battles B3 is fast approaching. It will have brand new interface, game mechanics, art, special effects, storylines, and an expensive onboarding experience. So, it's gonna be uh, 3D na, no? Ang mga load, you know? It's gonna be a new experience when it comes to playing Axie Infinity. That's what you can see right here naman, no? Sa, sa, sa picture na to, no? It seems like maganda ang magiging kalalabasan ng Axie Infinity Origin once it's launched. Okay? Origin has been built from the ground up to be more approachable for a mainstream audience. Audience, The addition of three free starter axes will make it much easier to recruit your friends and family to join our community. Um, dito sa sinabi niya na to, no? Medyo, that, that is easy for those people na maraming pera. <laughs> no? Pero kung uh, medyo konti lang yung pera natin, uh, yung pagbili ng tatlong axe ngayon, lalo na, tumataas na SLP, na, SLP natin dos na ulit, ano? Um, ngayon ang mga ang, ang, ang mga actually sa marketplace ay nagre-range na ulit sa uh, 50 dollars no 50 dollars yung pinakamababa yung mga basic AAP lineup so pwede kang makakuha ng 9,000 to 10,000 uh, built na team ng AAP ayan so nga pala nagbibigay uh, din kami or nagsa-service din kami ng uh, uh, pagbili ng axi from buying to teaching you how to use them alright so, kung meron kayo mga questions about it, i-PM nyo lang ako or i-mag-message kayo sa i-comment nyo lang down below para makapag-usap tayo. And then, I will forward you the information where to contact us in order for us to help you guys. Alright? Legit to as in legit. Uh, 100% we're not gonna be scamming you. Guys, I know that mahirap yung buhay ngayon. So, hindi ko na para gawin pa yun. Uh, hindi rin ako makakatulong sa community kung ganun yung gagawin ko. Alright? So, positive lang tayo dito. There are still final touches. That's true. And uh, in announced kind of geos yeah, na, um there are still final touches being made and not everything is completely finalized. So pag launch pa lang nitong origin is hindi pa siya talaga finalized. It's gonna be a soft launch pa lang. And sabi ko sa inyo kung kailan. Yet so there might be there might be changes to what we described here. So however we wanted to share as much as possible while you patiently wait for something to play. Now our goal is to begin the game release process by the end of Q1 2022. Nga pala yung uh, developer ng Pokemon uh, ngayon yata is team lead na siya ng uh, game management, ano? Ng game management and gaming experience nitong Axie Infinity. Kinuha siya as uh, uh, project manager, no? Uh, siya ang team lead doon ngayon. Kaya maganda talaga yung mangyayari. Antayin natin, no? Antayin natin. Antayin natin kung anong mangyayari. Ito ay itong message na to guys para sa mga nag-invest na sa Axie Infinity. Okay? Sa mga tao na hindi pa nag invest I don't want to 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 pull you sa isang uh, well at uh, mahulog tayo pare-pareho, no? Hindi tayo financial expert, no? Ex um, <clears throat> dis disclaimer lang, no? Uh, hindi rin ako nagpo-promote dito ng Axie Infinity na pumasok kayo lahat dito, malaki kikitain nyo dito. Pero ito ay para doon sa mga tao lang na nag-invest na. Okay? Kasi ayoko naman na maka-apekto doon sa mga tao na nag-invest na. Tapos, biglang 
kasi may, may mga tao kasi ngayon na hindi ko alam kung bakit o sa, ano yung pinaguhugutan nila bakit parang they're not just trying to target Axie Infinity but they're trying to mock those people who invested their money dito sa Axie Infinity so nakakalungkot lang ano maraming mga nag nag-invest dito ng mga maliliit na tao or maliliit na business minded people no nag-try sila mag-risk tapos ngayon nag-out na sila nung nag-out sila biglang tumaas yung uh, SLP so m- minsan hindi rin nakakatulong yung pagbibigay ng negative feedback dun sa sa, sa game no ng Axie Infinity which is they, they have their own ano naman meron naman silang choice dun and hindi naman natin hawak yung decisions nila yung opinions nila but then nakaka-apekto kasi yun sa mga tao na kawawa naman kasi yung mga nag-invest ngayon dahil dun sa mga videos na lumalabas about Axie Infinity sa scam Axie Infinity sa Ponzi scam um, medyo naapektuhan yung yung decisions nila no na mag-out na agad dito sa Axie Infinity without having any returns pa sa kanilang uh, mga investment. So, kawawa naman sila na nalugi lang sila, naapektuhan sila because of the, I don't know, maybe it's it's their their choice din naman na nagpa-apekto sila sa mga negative feedback about Axie Infinity. But me, no, I just don't want to, hindi ko na lang kayo ipapapasukin dito sa Axie Infinity. Para na lang to, sa, tong message na to, para dun sa mga nag-invest na, na nawawalan na ng, na ng pag-asa, no? There are still yet, or there are yet still things to come that will make us at least, no, mabawi natin kahit pa paano yung investment natin. And if not, kung sa dulo man ay gumanda itong Axie Infinity, we will all, ano, wow, we will all harvest the fruit of our, ano, uh, sacrifice, risk na tinake natin, no? And so, para sa mga ka-Axie natin dyan, shoutout sa inyo sa mga risk takers dyan, shoutout sa inyo mga Lodi. And, and, So, however, as we've tried to explain, um, our goal is to begin the game's releases process by the end of Q1 2022, which is March. Okay, March 2022. That's the the the, the end of the quarter one. And yeah, in explain nila na hindi hindi naman lahat ay madaling gawin, and there are a lot of moving parts involved in this game. Okay, so which might cause delays. So, maaaring ma-launch na ito, yung soft launch na ito ng March or maaaring ma-move to sa Q2. Naturally, we want to get Origin as, uh, we want to get Origin out as quickly as we can. Alright. Now, ito yung release plan na meron sila, which is they're calling the, um, Alpha. We will start with initial Alpha launch of Origin, which is the soft launch, uh, where we plan to make the game available to everyone globally via, uh, via Mavis Hub and Android APK. During the Alpha launch window, we're looking for player feedback which will allow us to further refine the game before no, uh, formal release. Ayan. So, itatry pa lang naman natin to lahat and then magkakaroon pa ng pinakang formal release ng Origin talaga. So, pag sinabing soft launch, guys, ibig sabihin, marami pang kailangan i-edit, marami pang kailangan uh, data na kuhanin pagkatapos ng trial uh, version. Parang beta test, no? So, naka-beta test pa lang to ngayong March or maybe April. Okay. <laughs> Now, there will be no SLP or AXS rewards available in Origin during the Alpha. Okay, expect natin yan. Wala munang mga uh, kahit anong rewards dun sa Alpha. Alright? Then, all trainers' pro- progress and resources earned during the Alpha window will be reset from tra- trainer accounts before the full formal uh, formal game launch. So, ang mangyayari lang talaga is talagang trial lang siya or test lang siya. Tinan nyo, as what you can see here, meron na tayong uh, ranking. Oh. May mga ro- new ranking na na-achieve na. So I would believe I, I I think hindi na to magiging ano parang MMR based MMR based pa rin siya pero yung parang katulad ng ano sa ML no meron ka ng uh, ranking no magkakaroon na ng rank Ayan. so based sa MMR na meron ka Ayan. medyo nagulo ba kayo doon so basta isipin na lang natin meron ng mga ranking na katulad nito so meron ng mga milestones na mak- makukuha uh, if we're winning Ayan. so makakatapat din natin yung mga nasa ganitong rank Ayan. Season 0, after the alpha, uh, alpha phase, we will launch with Season 0, which will allow us to make more core updates to the game based upon the feedback of those people who are playing or who played the beta test, right? Or the alpha test. Now, depending on how the alpha goes, we may transition as put SLP earning from Battle Speed 2 into Origin during the season. Okay? Ayan. Expect nyo na to manang mangyayari, guys, ha? Yung Battles version 2 na meron tayo guys ay i-incorporate na nila sa Origin. So magiging ganito na yung ano, yung ganito na yung mangyayari. 
Ayan. So, hindi ko pa alam kung paano nila gagawin na hiwala yung origin battles. Okay, I think magkakaroon siguro ng mga parang classic matches dito wherein uh, pwede kang makipaglaro, uh, mag, mag-practice ng hindi nababawasan yung energy mo o MMR mo. Okay, and then pag sinabing uh, battles origin na, or parang siguro ito yung magiging rank game, ano? Kung saan uh, mababawasan yung MMR mo pag nakipaglaban ka. So, kung mangyayari yun, it is gonna be a good thing for every one of us kasi mapapractice tayo na mapapractice. And then, <clears throat> may, may, may chance tayo na if we wanted to, uh, may option tayo na if we wanted to increase our MMR, doon tayo sa arena. And then, kung hindi tayo, hindi natin gusto mabawasan yung MMR natin para kinabukasan, doon tayo sa classic battles. Ayan. So, which point battles version 2 will be shut down? Otherwise, battles version 2 will keep running in parallel until we are ready to transition. So, expect natin guys yung mga transitions na mangyayari from battles B2 to origin. Ano? Ito, so your axes, you will be able to use the axes you own now in origin. Your axes are a ticket to all future experiences built in the Axie universe. Infinite games or infinite experience, that's why it's called Axie Infinity. Wow, so we have to celebrate this one. <laughs> New game mechanics. Let's, let's, let's jump into this. As well, we can see, ang ganda ng, ano, ang ganda ng graphics nga. And I, I think this is an adventure. Kung, kung hindi ako nagkakamali. So, nakikita mo dito yung level, fo- level mo, no? Level mo. Tapos pwede mong makuha ano, mga bagay-bagay or mga crafting materials right here. I am so excited, no? Kung, kung, sa akin, no? If, if you're gonna be asking me, I'm so excited about this launch. And um, I, I think magiging maganda talaga yung kakalabasan itong battles. Uh, V3 or Origin. And so sequential turns. In Origin, Axis will now execute their attacks immediately as cards are played. What do you mean by that? Okay, parang siguro pagka they will they will now execute their attacks immediately as cards are played. Hmm. Siguro pag tinapo mo, pa, titira agad. Hindi na maglalagay ka ng tatlong cards. Hmm, medyo ano to no? Opposing trainers will take sequential ter- turns using their cards versus choosing them simultaneously at the beginning of a round. In, as in battles B2 Trainers will now be in constant action Either playing their cards Or carefully observing their opponent's moves We believe that this fast-paced new game Design is more engaging And provides a greater feeling of control over your axes Since they spring into action immediately When a card is played So, hindi ko ba alam ko ano mangyayari dito guys eh Parang ganito siguro Parang maglalagay ka ng isang card tapos mag a na agad siya. Kahit di pa ina e may Med- Medyo hindi, hindi, hindi dito malino yung ano para sa akin, no? kung paano yung gagawin, kung ano mangyayari. Alright. So anyways, guys, ganito. Tingnan nyo na lang yung ano, tingnan nyo na lang yung graphics. Sobrang ganda naman talaga, no? Uh, nakaka-excite to gawin. Nakaka-excite talaga gawin to, guys. Now, or, or laruin. Now, reset energy and cards each turn. Unused energy and cards will no longer accumulate across turns by default during battle. So trainers will have less incentive to skip turns and not use up their energy cards. There will be many mechanics around re- retaining and acquiring energy cards, energy or cards that will still provide layers of strategic decision making within the game. Ganun ba? So kapag hindi mo ginamit yung energies mo sa isang round, o yung isang card mo sa isang round, it will no longer accumulate across turns by default during the battle. So hindi ka tulad nung dati na yung sa battles V2, um pwede mong hindi gamitin yung cards mo sa round na to. Tapos pag ginamit mo yung mga cards mo sa round na to, pwede pa siyang bumalik sa ibang round. Pero ito parang hindi na, no. Hindi madadagdagan yung cards mo kapag nagpas ka. Oh. So trainers will have less incentive to skip turns. So kailangan pala dito kapag lumabas na yung cards mo, guys. Kailangan gamitin mo sila. Kung magsiskip ka ng turn, hindi sila hindi madadagdagan yung cards mo. So ang tanong, ilang cards yung ma- magiging available sa so, There will be many mechanics around retaining and acquiring energy or cards that will still provide layers of t- strategic decision making within the game. Siguro hindi pa rin nila pina- pinaliwanag dito kung ano pa yung mangyayari. Ang sinabi lang din, there will be many mechanics around the uh, around kung paano ma-retain yung mga cards na to, kung paano ma-retain yung mga energies para hindi gamitin kung paano mag-escape no pero medyo mara- malaking me- medyo malaking adjustment ng mangyayari guys no 
So the card changes, naman, for those who uh, of you who from, who are familiar with the battles uh, V2 experience, most of the cards you know and love have carried over to Origin. So ibig mo sabihin, may mga bagong cards na lalabas. Kasi pag sinabi mong carried over, merong mga cards na nag- nag-exist before and right now, mag exist na. Oh. Ah, right now, retain Or maki-carried over. However, most cards play differently as they now have either an attack or a defense value rather than carrying both. Some cards that you're familiar with have newly described abilities. However, we've tried to keep the spirit of the card as consistent as possible. We look forward to seeing your thoughts as you get familiar with them all. So, magiging ano talaga nun, guys, no? Medyo magkakaroon ng changes sa, ba- sa, 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 sa attack, sa defense. Kasi magiging, mag- iba na yung, iba na yung effects, oh. So, ano ba, ano ba? So, Robin, is a, it is a skill. Summon a little Robin. As what you can see here sa taas dito, pag nagsummon ka ng little Robin na yun, oh, makikita mo. Tapos, so, magsasummon na attack siya. So, mag- marami talagang magbabago dito sa Battles v- uh, battles Origin, oh. Uh, V3. So, put one aquatic card from your draw pile. To your hand. Okay? Deal 25 damage to an enemy. Shuffle one day into your opponent's discard pile. Okay, so... May mga, ano, may mga skill. Skill lang. Okay? May mga skill plus banish. Tapos meron namang attack. So, meron naman ding specific cards for defense. So, I guess, ang mangyayari talaga dito, guys, is meron, guys, meron kang set of cards na parang magiging Yu-Gi-Oh! nang dating nito, eh, no? Parang throwing cards na meron ka lang ito titira mo para magka-defense ka. Itong card na to specific for attack. Itong card na to is sti- specific for skill control or banish. Okay? Or or whatever it is or whatever uh, special effect yung card na to. Ano? So kaya pwede mo talaga siyang i-keep dun sa hand mo. Pwede kang mag-skip uh, para makip mo yung ano, makip mo yung cards or what what not, no? Uh, hindi ko pa masyadong naiintindihan lahat kung ano yung mangyayari pero sobrang laki talaga na magiging changes. Unang-una, yung mga cards mo, iba na ang itsura. Pangalawa, may mga cards na bago. Pangatlo, may mga cards na makukuha tayo, retain from the Battles V2. Pangapat, meron ng mga bagong skill na may summon na. Di ba? May mga summon na. Kasi kapag sinabing telescope ito, eye, eye part to eh. Eye part eh. Tapos yung buzz buzz is an, is an ear part. As what you can see guys, there are new cards na lalabas para sa eyes at para din naman sa ears. Ang mangyayari siguro nito is medyo tatagal yung laban pero in a fast pace game. Tatagal yung laban pero mabilis yung mga atakihan. So gagamitan mo talaga to ng medyo leveled, leveled up na ano ha, na thinking. Which is a good thing uh, with Axie guys. Medyo mahihirapan tayo in the beginning pero I think it's worth it. no? Eyes and ears. There will, be, there will now also be all new cards that relate to Anaxi eyes and ears. So, the meta combinations have increased significantly. In the Battles B2 experience, trainers were able to leverage four Axie skills only. In Origin, get ready to leverage all six of Anaxi cards. We look forward to seeing trainers discover unique and surprising Axie team compositions. Guys, there will be a lot of expenses na naman, no? <laughs> Kasi kung bumili ka ng hindi pure na Axie, eh, baka dito hindi, hindi, hindi makapalag yung axi mo, no? So, kung compare yung axi mo dito, syempre, yung synergy ng mga skills and cards na itatapon mo, sobrang magiging in, in, synergized sila and then, medyo malaki at maganda yung magiging kalalabasan ng damage mo at ng mga skill controls mo, no? Tsaka ng defense mo. So, lamang dito, guys, yung, tama yung sinabi ni, ano, no, ni Bryson, no? Na magiging lamang dito yung mga uh, pure ng mga axis. Alright, so, there will be huge changes talaga na mangyayari dito sa Axie Infinity Origin, guys. Now, power-ups, runes and charms. Runes and charms are now power-ups. We're introducing it in Origin. They are equipped by your axes and will provide various buffs. Where runes gives you new passive powers to Axie charms or var- uh, wearables that enhance an Axie inherent abilities. At meron pang mga ganito. So, medyo gagastos talaga tayo dito, guys. No? Meron, ito yung mga... Kailangan niya ata siguro tong i-craft using SLP or any other crafting materials na makukuha natin sa sa battles, no? Which is magiging from from simple into complicated 
barrel, no? And then, from simple building ng team, ng team or ng Axie to complicated team, ha? to complicated building of teams, no? Pero, sa akin, okay lang kasi medyo na, na, nasimula natin, natutunan natin, tapos pauti-uti, di ba? Pauti-uti. Parang ML lang din yan noon, eh. Uh, noon, medyo konti pa lang yung mga skills, konti pa lang mga heroes, hanggang sa may, marami ng binago, hanggang sa marami ng nabago sa items, marami ng nabago sa mga skills, no? May marami ng rebump. So, ganito rin siguro yung Axie Infinity, ganito yung tinitake nilang path, which is gonna be a huge, uh, which is gonna be a huge Uh, take para sa ano uh, sa Axie Infinity developer no o sa mga developers natin which is Sky Mavis so meron mga runes parts no NFT um, runes and chance will be rolled out incrementally so ibig sabihin pa uti uti In- um, initially non-NFT runes and charms can be crafted using moon shards uh, may room, at may moon shards na tayong tinatawag guys and over time we will introduce more powerful NFT based charms and runes most likely After the alpha window, NFT-based charms and runes will require both SLP and moon shards to craft. This will be one of the initial SLP burning mechanism incorporated into Origin. Wow, that's 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 huge change, guys. No, that's a huge change, and will increase the yung yung pag need natin ng SLP. And it it will once now to maas yung need sa SLP. Isa lang ibig sabihin nun, guys. Tataas din yung value niya. Will it be SLP to the moon na nga ba? Ayan. So guys, para sa mga nag-invest na sa NFT dito sa Axie Infinity, hintayin natin to. Sa mga hindi pa nag-invest, hindi ko kayo hinahatak dito. Pero I think maganda yung mangyayari dito sa Axie Infinity. Pero um, wag na muna kayo pag-isipan yung mabuti. Ano, ayaw ko kayong uh, hatakin dito sa Axie Infinity na um, which will turn into pag, pag, nag, pag nag-fail kami, sama-sama tayo no pero pag nag-succeed naman kami sama-sama rin naman tayo each season runes and charms will be removed from gameplay in the subsequent season which means that trainers will need to continuously be on the hunt to upgrade their axi so ibig sabihin pauti-uti magkakaroon ng mga changes pa rin yung runes and charms mawawala and then magbabago yung game tapos magiging focus sa tayo continuously in the, on the hunt para mag-upgrade tayo ng axi natin. Ayan. So, papasok na talaga dito yung mga ano, crafting. Look at the, ano, look at the icon, no? Tail, mouth, horn. Okay? So, there are a lot of changes, no? As what you can see, 65 yung attack dito. Dito, 130 naman ang Shiba. Parang mas lalakas ang Shiba kaysa sa Imp, no? Imp is uh, known as 90. Na, meron siyang 90 attack damage, eh. But at this moment, cost zero energy in fur form. Tapos may fur form pa ang isang axi. Pag nag fur form, hindi siya magkakost ng energy. Napakaganda nito, guys. No, So, I'm so excited about this. I mean, uh, indeed, truly, I'm, I am excited to the launch of this um, Axie Infinity Origin. Now, critical hits are no longer the rage. Trainers playing V2 battles expressed a lot of concern and frustration around critical hits as this random element often over influences matches so we've decided to remove random critical hits from origin gameplay there will be no critical hits na no uh, wala nang random however the game will introduce a new above card play mechanic such as rage so ito nga yung tinatawag na rage yung para magkakaroon ka ng rage bar in order for you to see no kung kung uh, makikita mo na dito kung magkikrit na yung susunod na tira ng isang axi ng kalaban Ayan. so which axis accumulate over the course of a battle Now we're excited to see how trainers create new plans and strategies when they attempt to choose the right timing to unleash their Axis Rage against opponents. Now, paliwanag natin tong Axis Rage. Kilala nyo si Minotaur sa Mobile Legends. I think kilala nyo lahat, no, si Minotaur. Si Minotaur, every time na ikakas mo yung second skill or first skill or third skill or pag na, may, may nadadagdag kang Rage dun sa Rage bar mo. Okay? So once mapuno mo yung stack na yun, pwede ka na mag-ulti, no, kay, kay Minotaur sa Mobile Legends. Now, dito naman sa Axie Infinity, once mapuno mo yung reach bar mo, dun ka palang magkikrit. Which is a good thing because hindi makakasira ng discard eh, ng kalaban mo. Because they know, or we already know, that this Axie will somehow, at any given point of time, no, mapupuno yung reach bar, makakakrit siya. So, hindi natin, hindi siya mangyayari sa hindi inaasahang pagkakataon. Now, simplified Axie stats. As you can see, Origin is moving towards a strong focus on a fast, um, turn-based game design this combined with all of the other additional new mechanics in many ways makes familiar 
v2 axis stats such as speed irrelevant therefore in origin axis now simply have hit points so wala nang speed just hit points wow all right so welcome welcome dito sa bagong ano no sa bagong changes ng ng axis infinity now start your axis you already you've already met booba this one is booba no he's one of the numerous starter axis trainers will be able to play the game with completely for free these starter axes are not nfts and are, and players cannot earn slp from using them for now at least however trainers will be able to earn access to even more starter axes as they progress in the pve adventure mode then players will be able to use these axes in pvp as well but if they want to get a larger variety of axie team composition they'll have to pick up pick up some nft based axes from the marketplace now ito na yata yung lalabas yung free to play no na axie uh, tapos mag mag start ka ng sarili mong team uh, start ka kay buba and then mag mag acquire ka ng ibang axie tapos mag mag try ka makipaglaban and then mag try ka mag pve no tapos mag level up ka tapos pag nakita mo na okay naman pwede mong ga- gusto mo na siguro pumasok para kumita ng SLP that is the time that you're gonna be acquiring new axes ayan so hindi ko pala yung katulad ng inaasahan ko na magiging parang katulad din ngayon battle version 2 na maglalaban ka dyan lalaban ka dyan na katulad ng axe pwede silang pumili ng axe na katulad dati and then mag- try nila ma-experience yung battle uh, battles B2 tapos bibili sila ng axe pag gusto na nila sa marketplace so hindi pala ganun ang mangyayari parang magkakaroon ka ng uh, adventure life mo so parang sa ML nagsastart ka maglaro ng may Layla okay so pag haba, as, as, as the game goes along mas gusto mong gumamit ng ibang heroes para mas tumaas yung MMR mo para mas tumaas yung rango mo so bibili ka ng ibang heroes so ganito pala yung magiging mangyayari dito sa Battles uh, Origin no um, guys ibibigay ko sa inyo yung mga bagong updates nito once I, I get some info na medyo solid no para mas maintindihan niyo na mabuti pero is one one thing lang na, natitin, na nakikita ko dito sobrang laki ng pagbabago sa Battles dito sa Axie Infinity and there are a lot of things that will happen in Axie Infinity or w- with Axie Infinity in the coming months or in the next coming months or next coming years now tutorials and unlocks we know that a lot of our dedicated players will have no problem picking up the new battle system in Origin however we want to make sure that Origin is not too overwhelming for your friends and other new players as well therefore successful play of the game will progressively unlock different features in the game as trainers progress brought to the PvE adventure. We've also provided a, a plethora of tutor- uh, tutorials to begin explain different parts of the gameplay. Tutorials will be able to be revi- uh, to be revisited anytime just in case a trainer wants to review them later. Parang Mobile Legends lang din. Meron dong uh, uh, tutorials if you wanted to visit them para, para ma- ma- matutunan mo ulit or mer- bumalik ka sa basic, ma- matutunan mo yung lahat ng basics. So we're so very excited to show you at the Axie Infinity Origin and we appreciate everyone's patience as we continue to work tirelessly on it to put out a high quality game everyone to play. And so guys, ito yung mangyayari dito sa Battles um, Origin and sobrang sobrang daming mangyayari guys. And I am so excited about it. And I know you guys are. right? I know you guys too are excited about this launch. Um, there will be a lot of changes. Alam ko na sa naman tayo. But sooner or later, makakakope din tayo sa mga changes. Man. So, everyone, let's see what will happen and then see you on the next one. I-update ko kayo sa mga bagong videos or bagong updates ng Axie Infinity na lalabas. Bye-bye.